Hello, Huang. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. How are you today, Huang? I'm fine. You're fine. Okay, very good. So, um, what are you doing right now? Oh, that's your home. That is your homework, right? Yeah. Okay, can I see it? So I said that you must draw a picture of your classroom. Do you draw that? Yeah. Oh, very good. That is so beautiful. Your drawing is very beautiful. Okay, oh, what can you say about your drawing, about your classroom? The classroom has a uh, both a chair and table. A chair and table and door. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So how many chairs and tables do you have at home, at your classroom? They have five tables and five chairs. Oh, five tables and five chairs. Okay, very good. And then, um, how many classmates do you have? Uh, my school have oh, so many. Oh, it's so many. All right. So, how about friends? How many friends do you got in your classroom? My classroom has 24 friends. Oh, you have 24 friends. That's so plenty. All of that are your classmates? Yeah. Okay, very good. All right. So, um, okay. So, how is the weather today in Vietnam? Uh, it's sunny. Oh, it's sunny. Well, today, this afternoon in the Philippines, um, it's going to rain again. It's going to have a heavy rain again because every afternoon we are having a strong rain. All right. So, well, um, what? Well, Okay, for today, we're going to start a new activity, okay? Yeah. All right, let's begin. All right, so our lesson for today is, can you read it, uh, Huang? The woman in the red dress. Yes, very good. It's about the woman in the red dress. Okay, so Huang, what can you say about the picture here? The picture is a woman in the red dress. Okay, very good. So this picture has a woman uh, who wears a very beautiful red dress, okay. So how about you, Huang? Do you like wearing dresses too? Yes. Oh, very good. Um, okay, how many dresses do you have? No. Do you wear that always? Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay, very nice. So why do you like wearing a dress? Because it's comfy and because it's sunny. Oh, because it's sunny, so that's why it's hot. Ah, oh, yes. so that's why it's hot. So you have to wear a comfortable cloth like that one, that dress. Okay, very good one. Okay, so now let's talk about here some kinds of clothes, okay? Yeah. So, Wong, what can you say about here on the um, on the first picture? What is this kind of clothes? 
need a trouser. Yes, very good. This is a trouser. Okay, so um, who all? Who often wear this kind of clothes? Right now. Okay, and where do you wear this? In which body part do you have to wear trousers? Um, um, where do you wear your trousers? Do you wear it in the neck? Do you wear it on your head? Where do you wear it? Uh, in the leg. In the legs. Very good. So, do you like wearing trousers too? Yes. Okay. How many trousers do you have? No. Um. What is your favorite color of trousers? Uh, blue. Blue. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So, how about this one? Um. Wall. What is picture number two? Uh, Oh, what is this? How do you call this one in picture number two? Oh, no. You wear it in the neck. Oh, when, um, when it's very cold, you have to wear this one on your neck. So what's this? Um, oh, you don't know? Okay, well, we call it scarf. Can you say it, Juan? Again? Scarf. Very good. Okay, scarf. So this one is we wear this one on our neck when it's very cold or the weather is very cold because it helps us to feel warm. Okay, that's why you have to put that on your neck when it has a when it is winter. Okay, how about number three, Wong? I could. Okay, jacket or coat. So why do you think people have to wear this? Uh, um, uh, okay, so people wear coat so that... Um, Okay, this one is very nice if you wear this one on winter because it, it lets your body feel warm when you wear this one. Or when it's raining very hard, you can wear a coat also. Okay, last one, Wall. How, how do you call that? Ear skirt. Again? Ear skirt. Oh, no, it is a sweater, not a shirt. Okay, so when do, when do people use a sweater? Mm, so when do people wear a sweater? Uh, in the body. Yes, in the body. So people wear a sweater too when it's very cold. Okay, this is a very nice kind of clothes. It feel it lets you feel warm during cold days. Okay, so now Huang, look at this one. Okay, wait for me, Huang. I will just drink water. Okay. Because my throat is very itchy. Wait for me.
Okay, let's continue on. Okay, so look at activity letter A. This activity says, find the words for the pictures and write them on the lines, okay? Yeah. So first, um, I want you to write the words first on the line, okay? So example, oh wait, wait, wait. Example number one is a scarf, okay? So now, how about number two, what do you call that? Okay, very good. You write it. How about number three? Number three is a coat. Okay, write the word coat. Do you know how to spell the word coat? Yes. Mm, very good. Number four is? Number four is? Mm. <clears throat> oh, this is where you put your things on. What do you call that? It's a pop -pack. No, 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 no. Three letters only. Bag. Very good. Okay. Write the word bag. Okay. How about number five? This is very easy. You have to put this one on your head when it's very hot or sunny. Okay. Number six. You put this one on your feet. Oh, it's... Wait, 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 that's only one. So it must be shoe only, okay? Oh, you erase the letter S. Because it's only oh. one. So you must just write shoe. Very good. How about number seven? Number seven. Uh, this must, uh, this, you have to wear this one every day. Uh. Okay, and number eight, you wear this one on your feet. Oh, this is two, so you must be putting letter S. It must be socks. Very good, okay? So now you were able to write, uh, find the word sweater. <coughs> How about number three? Can um, you find coat? Okay, good. Four is bag. Can you look for bag? Oh, good job. How about hat? How about shoe? Wear a shoe. How about shirt? How about socks? All right, good job, Well, Let's put a tick on your answers. So this one is sweater, correct. Next one is a coat, correct also. Bag is also correct. Hat, 
uh, shoes or shoe, shirt, and socks. Okay, very good. Let's put a tick. Uh, how many points do you have? Can you count it? Okay, let's put a tick here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And also here is seven. Four, five, six, seven. So total of 14 points. Okay, next one, Huang. Let's have some question and answer here. Okay, Huang, who is wearing a shirt today? Uh, do you know somebody who's wearing a shirt today? Uh, my dad. Your dad, right? Yeah. Okay, so what is the color of your dad's shirt? Uh, white. White. Okay, how about teacher? I'm wearing a shirt too. What is this color? Hmm. No, this is not green. Black. No. Gray. Yes, very good. It's color gray. How about number two? Who's wearing a sweater? Sweater. Mm -hmm. Do you know somebody's wearing a sweater today? Who? Oh. Who? Oh. Trum. Trum. Also, Trum is wearing a sweater today? Yeah. Why? Is it cold? I thought it's sunny. Uh, morning is cold. Again, again, because? Because morning is cold. Ah, because this morning it is cold. Okay. Uh, next one. Are you wearing socks today, Huang? No. When are you wearing your socks? Uh, my dad. Oh, your dad is wearing a socks today. Yes. Right? Uh, what, what is the color of his socks? Black. Black. Okay, how about you, Huang? When do you wear your socks? Uh, it's cold. I wearing a sock. Oh, when you go, when it's cold, you have to wear socks. Yes. How about when you go to school, Huang? Do you wear socks too? Yes. Okay. What's the color of your socks? Uh, pink. Pink. Very nice. Okay. So next one. Have you got a coat with you today? Today I am home. Okay. Um, do you no, wear? Oh, you didn't go outside. That's why you didn't wear a coat, right? Yeah. Okay. Good job. So, what is your favorite clothes, Wong? My favorite clothes is dress. It's a dress. Okay. Again, why do you like wearing a dress? A cut it hot. I like to wearing a dress. Ah, oh, because it's hot. That's why you like to wear a dress. Okay, very good. So now let's have take note. Okay, can you read this one, Huang? A pair of today's trousers, chain shirt, shoe, and glasses. Okay. Wait a minute. I heard some wrong word that you said. Okay. What is this word? Um, yeah, you read it again carefully. Describe. 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 Okay, so that word is pronounced as describe, okay? Yes. Okay, very good. So it says here, Huang, that you use the word a pair of when you're talking about trousers, jeans, socks, shoes, and glasses. Okay, a pair of means they're always together, right? 
So example, jeans. So you, you cannot wear one jean, one leg only. It always, it's always two. And then when you wear socks, it's always two. That's why you call it a pair of. Okay, Juan? All right, very good. Okay, next one. Continue reading, Juan. A pen being two. And that's in English we think about wearing trousers and jeans. On to left, sock and shoe on to feet and glasses on to eyes. Okay, so this is just the explanation of what I said earlier, okay? A pair of means it's always two. Okay, example, when we wear jeans, it's always two because we have two legs. When we wear socks, it's always two because we have two feet. We wear shoes, it's always two because we have two feet, right? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, now, Juan, let's find the words in the box for five more things that you wear. Okay, now, Juan. I want you to give me five examples of clothes that you have to wear, that you like to wear, I mean. Okay, so uh, what are the clothes that you want to wear? Can you tell me five, five kinds? Okay, the first uh, one. Okay, you can write it on the box if you want to. So, 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 what, the, what kinds of clothes um, would you like to wear? You can write it on the box. One box, two box, three box, four box, and five boxes. Okay, what's that? That's wet. Hmm, what's that? Is that sweat? Mister. Hmm. Are you spell sweater? How do you spell sweater? Do you know the spelling? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes, that's correct. That's weather. What else do you want to wear? Skirt. Okay, very good. Next. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
two. Very good. Next, two more. Hat. Very good. Last one is. Bag. Okay, very good. Can you say your answers? Well, what are the kinds of clothes that you want to wear every day? Can you read it? A sweater, a skirt, a shoe, a hat, and a bag. Very good. This is this is a very girly kind of things. Okay, so these are the examples: a pair of trousers, t-shirt, skirt, a pair of glasses, and dress. Okay. Well, anyway. All your answers are correct. So I will give you a perfect score of five points. Very good. Okay, good job, Wong. Next one, let's continue. Yes. Okay, now look at this one. Okay, in this activity, this is activity letter C. Choose the correct words from A or B and write them on the lines, okay? So example, okay, example, what do you wear around your neck when it's, when, okay, can I get it? What do you wear around your neck in cold weather? Okay, so in cold weather, you can wear this round on your neck. So the answer is a scarf. Okay, how about number two, Huang? This is very long jacket. Deep you can wear outside. Uh huh. This is a very long jacket which you can wear outside. It's a coat. Okay, very good. It's a coat. Next one, number three. You can wear this on your feet inside your shoe. It's sharp. Socks, okay, four. People can put their thing into this and then carry it. Mm -hmm. uh, um, People can put their things into this and then carry it. A pack. Very good. A bag. And last one, one, number five. A pack of this can help people to read a book. Oh. Um, a pair of these can help people. To read the book, you wear this one on your eyes. What's this? A glasses. Very good. It's a pair of glasses. Good job, Wong. Okay, next one. Let's continue. Okay, Wong. This is activity letter D. Say the words. Okay, can you read the words on the screen, Wong? A pair of net. Cat, the can hairs at. Okay, here. Can you read the words on uh, under? Can. Oh, no, 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 no. This one. Yes, I can swim. Yes, I can swim. No, I can fly. Okay, so um, in this activity, we are just going to practice how to say the word can, okay? Can you say can? Can't. Yes, very good, can. For example, can you read the example, T um, Huang? For example, 
I can read, I can write. When we follow can by the word, we say can move quick, quickly. We low. We lose. We lose the sound of each middle letter. Okay, so it says here that when you say the word can, it must be very quickly. Okay, for example, can, 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 can. Yeah. Okay, so now pronounce the can't here as can't. For example, I can't fly like this bird. Okay, so in the first one, you must say can't. Well, on the other one, you can say can't, okay? All right, can you read the sentence correctly, um, Huang? I can fly like this bird. Okay, good job. That is the correct way on how to say can or can't. Okay, so now look at this one, Huang. Let's answer letter E, write the words from A and B in the table. Okay, so in this activity, Huang, um, we are just going to think of some kind of clothes that we have to wear in this um, part, okay? For example, in the top half, we can wear a scarf on our neck, right? So what else can we wear on the top half of our body? Uh, top, top half. This is top half. So aside half. from scarf, okay, let's write. A uh, hat, what else? A uh, glass. Okay, next. Hat, glass. Oh, what else? Aside from hat and glass, what else can you put on the top half of your body? Up to this one, up to this one. What can you put or wear? A t-shirt. Okay, what else? Uh, 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 coat. Cool. Okay, next one. In the bottom half, example, is a pair of socks. Okay, so what do we wear in the bottom half of our body, starting from your waist? Shoe. Shoe. Okay, what else? Uh, trousers. Okay, next. Uh, Okay, bottom half, it means that you can say anything up to your feet. Um, so there are shoes, uh, there are trousers. A skirt. Skirt, okay, very good. Next one is, let's go to the top and bottom half. Okay, so example is coat. Top and bottom half means um, you have to wear it. This is a kind of of clothes that is very long. Or long, long a dress. A dress, okay, very good. Okay, so now it's put a tick on the correct answers. Okay, in the top half, we have here scar. Glasses, hat, t-shirt, sweater, and shirt. Okay, let's put a tick. Scarf, glasses, hat. Okay, how about on a pair of socks? What on bottom half? So we can wear a pair of socks, shoes, and Trousers and also shoes, skirt, and trousers. Very good. So three points here.
Okay, wait a minute. It cannot be written. Okay, so why? Oh, no. One, two, three. Okay, in the top half and top bottom half, the answer is... Okay, wait a minute. So the answer is address. Okay, plus one point is total of seven points. Okay, well, for your homework, um, Wong, I want you to wear your favorite clothes, okay? You have to wear your favorite clothes and describe why you like it, okay, Wong? Yeah. All right, so that's all for tonight. I'm going to see you again tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.